You've heard the term the Black Pope in the Vatican. Well, unless they've changed superior generals, this would still be he. It is said that it would be he, Adolfo Nicolas Pachon. This is his picture. 78 years old. And he is said to be the real power within the Vatican. The evil power, not the only evil power, but the one who tells the Pope what to do. However, there's also those insiders, those in the know, that actually say Vatican is very, very powerful, influential throughout the entire world, but yet even they take their cue from the satanic Illuminati Freemason witches. It's like a spider web. They're all little different pieces. Some bigger than the others. And in the middle of the web is the big spider, the devil himself. So whether they're run by the Illuminati and the Freemasonry or not, it is rumored and it is said by insiders that this man here is a very important player in the dark side of the Vatican. <clears throat> now, he's talked about resigning and everything, according to this on Wikipedia, at age 80. And that would be a couple of years. But it's supposedly not normal for them to do that. Just like uh, Benedict, it wasn't normal for him to resign. So don't be surprised if this guy resigns. He studied at the University of Akale. Studied at the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome. Doctorate in Theology. He's made a professor of systemic theology. He is the superior general of the Society of Jesus. He was elected that on January 19, 2008. Hmm. That's a pretty familiar timing, isn't it? Let's see, what else happens in uh, January, isn't it, of that year? Isn't that when Obama took his uh, oath of office for his first term? In January of 2008? So... I wanted everybody to know, because maybe they don't know. And we'll click over here, the Society of Jesus. It is a male religious congregation. Their members are called Jesuits. Engaged in evangelization and apostolic ministry in 112 nations on six continents. This is the founder, Ignatius of Loyola. They are consecrated under the patronage of Madonna della Strada title of the Virgin Mary. And the 
course of space is led by Adolfo Nicolas. So Malachi Martin said years ago that there was a war within the Vatican for control of it. And it's apparently has been won by the Jesuits. If you have a Jesuit Secretary General, and you have the Jesuit Pope, and this Order of the Society of Jesus, and I believe it's the largest order within the Vatican. So you got a whole bunch of Jesuits within the Vatican, and they are loyal. I also have looked up in the Library of Congress the supposed extreme oath of the Jesuits, and it can be found there. I was going to bring that, but there it's not. It is, but it isn't. There, there's discussion on one hand that it may not actually be real, and I mean it is extreme. It is, it is almost like taking a, a Freemason oath because they, they, these guys are loyal. If they t according to the, the Jesuit oath, they're told to go and kill whoever they're told to kill, they're going to kill. But there was an argument made against some of the things that are in the Library of Congress that aren't actually meaningful things and may not actually be true, which I kind of found that to be like, well, why is it there? But then why are a lot of things where they are? So rather than bring that out, <clears throat> take a 50-50 chance whether it's actually true or not, I'll just tell you about it. But, but I, might, I might show it to you later in a, another video. You can Google it. Just put in uh, extreme oath of the Jesuits, extreme Jesuit oath, and you'll be able to bring it up, and you'll be able to read it for yourself. If it is real, that's some oath, eh? If you do go ahead and look at it. But the Vatican... Uh, and I'm not bashing Catholics or anything. But I'm telling you, I'm telling everybody this for their own good. Because we got brought up as little kids by our moms and dads or grandmas or whoever raised you. And they, they were the same way as little children. And we knew holidays is what we knew them. We didn't really probably pay good attention and, and ask questions, why, why are these things? You know, what are they really? But folks, Easter doesn't have anything to do with Jesus' resurrection. The Easter bunny, the Easter eggs, the wicker basket, they don't have anything to do with it. That all goes back to ancient Babylon. That all goes back to Nimrod and Semiramis and Tammuz. All right? You just got to do a little work and look, look into things and use that gray matter that God put between your ears. There's nothing in the Bible that says, on this day, adopt a tradition to where you go out and you hunt Easter eggs, and there's this bunny, Easter bunny, as a symbol. Nothing. The bunny is a symbol of fertility, because it's the fastest procreating animal on the planet. They have babies like crazy. Baby bunnies. Semiramis was a fertility goddess. And the old tale was she was reincarnated and came down from the sky in a large egg, multicolored egg. And the egg drifted into, and it fell into a, 
a stream or a river, and it drifted up into the wicker reeds. That's why you have wicker baskets. There's a lot of pagan holidays that don't have anything to do with Jesus' death or resurrection, or even birth, possibly. Because there's also a passage in the Bible that talks about how they cut down a tree, and they fix it with hammer and nails, and they adorn it with gold and silver. And God is looking at this, and he's not liking it. You just have to read these things and understand. Now, this religion of Catholicism has it. What they've done, and I'm stepping on toes, and I hope it hurts, because maybe it'll make you think. You've got to think. Constantine created the universal religion. He adopted paganistic rituals and beliefs, and he merged them in with this idea, this new idea of Christianity so that he could appease the pagans and draw those in and appease the Christians and draw those in and then make one big happy family. That's why you see the Pope wearing the mitre and the mitre looks like a fish's mouth because it's the same mitre that's on ancient, carved on ancient walls and that was a worship of Dagon, the fish god. That's why you see these things. And the Vatican has, has admitted, basically, that they did adopt these things from Babylonian pagan practices, but that they, quote, baptized them, unquote. And I guess all you can get out of that is they, they cleaned them up and blessed them and said, let's just go ahead and use them. You know, it looks, the mitre looks cool, and this, that, and the other, and we're going to use it too. Hogwash. You know, you find God, you develop a relationship with him. You put him first in your life. So when you go into these institutions, there's a lot of stuff that you're looking at, but you may not have any clue what it really is, and it's your job to find out what it is. Don't take these people's words for it. Do the work on your own. We're, we're living in a time now where you, you've got to do this. God doesn't want you to be a spectator. He doesn't want you neutral. You're living in an age now where this is, this is coming up on the final ending of the chapter. You're going to be a player. He wants you to be an active participant in this generation. There's a reason that we're living in this last time. And it's not to sit on the sideline and leave it all up to him. It's a team effort against evil. We're players, and he wants us to be active participants. So we've got to, you've got to help people to know these things so they can understand these things and they can recognize good from evil and discern good from evil and protect themselves from evil. Jesus said, my people suffer and die from lack of knowledge. He wants everyone to have all the knowledge, all the knowledge of all his teachings and all the knowledge of what we're looking at in our everyday lives, even within ministries and, and religions. He wants you to see this paganism. He doesn't want you to live in it. He doesn't want you to adopt the traditions of men. It's very dangerous. And that's what I wanted everyone to know, basically, within this Vatican.